Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and I uh, wanted to uh, talk about this. I've had a couple of people with this problem but um, I've had this weekend two, three people also asking me about what to do. They're getting this error message and they've been getting this since the Patch Tuesday security updates uh, time. And what happens is some of you have had a package to um, basically um, fix a security flaw in the secure boot that was actually um, a problem where you know some uh, people could actually bypass security from secure boot and of course inject bad code into the uh, system while it actually starts windows and so that bypass of secure boot has been fixed by a specific um, install of a uh, KB, which is KB5012170. And there, of course, are a lot of people in every version of Windows 10 and also in Windows 11 that have had, when the updates actually apply, this specific error code. 0x800f0922. Now, I've been looking at other blogs where people are experiencing this, and it really, really seems to be mostly due to a old UEF5 firmware on the PCs where this update is installing. So the best way to fix this, uh, and Microsoft might actually do things because I know they have done one of their uh, known issue rollback feature with this so people that might have had this update didn't get it yet because Microsoft kind of uh, decided to stop sending it to a lot of people and a lot of computers the um, the best fix for those that are stuck because once you have it you're stuck with it once you when you didn't have it you're okay but if you did get it and now you're stuck with that error message all the time really go to your manufacturer of your motherboard your pc depending on what type of machine you have if it's a, a home built machine then you'll go to the motherboard manufacturer to get the latest uef5 firmware if it's a uh, machine from a known brand like uh, hp acer dell and so on go to their website and make sure that you apply the latest UEFI firmware upgrades that are available for your machine. It pretty much everybody that has complained say that their um, update of the UEFI firmware fixed the problem and the install went through after that. So it could be some kind of incompatibility with um, a firmware that might be a little too old. So go check out the UEFI firmware upgrades that you have for your manufacturer for your PC because this is really, for the most part, the fix where this update that fails all the time will actually go through. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.